See if you can recognize this tune from a recent movie. It's from the movie Top Gun. It's by the band One Republic and the song is called I Ain't Worried. Now, if you watch the video for I Ain't Worried, you'll see that the singer starts off whistling the tune like this. We've decided to play it on a ukulele for two reasons. It sounds cool and B, I can't whistle. <laughs> okay. But it's actually quite a nice way to get into reading tab on ukulele. Nice little picking riff. It's fun to play in a sort. You've got your PDF in front of you and we're going to start now going through what to do with your fretting hand. So make sure your PDF is in front of you in color. I'll explain why for color now. And let's zoom in and get it working for you. You'll notice my fingers are numbered, one, two, three, four. That's to help guide you through which are the most efficient ways to use the fingers. And we're going to start with the first four notes at the top of the PDF, which go five, five, two, five. And that's the introduction, the first four notes you play. Simple as that. Five, five, two, five, all on the third string from the bottom. Finger one's in fret two. Finger three is in fret number five on the third string. Now, after that, you'll see there's a red seven and nine. So I'm going to play enough from the beginning and play the seven and nine added onto it. So I'm going to ignore the blue three five. So here we go. Sound like the original? Should do. And now we're going to play the same thing, but we're going to ignore the red seven nine and play the blue three five. And you're going to say, but that sounds the same. It's because it is. Now, what I've noticed the past few weeks of teaching this song is that some students really like sliding. So they like doing it in one string. So they go. They like that little sliding action from the 7 to the 9 or from the, for example, like that. And some students, again, prefer to keep their hand in one position. Now, because this is whistled, not played on a ukulele or guitar, I don't mind. So pick a color, either go only red or only go blue. You could actually combine the two if you wanted to as well. But um, we're going to do it, first of all, the whole way through in red. And then we're going to do it the whole way through in blue directly after it for comparison purposes. And you can see how much the hand moves across the fretboard as in opposed to across the strings. Okay. First part, one more time in the red. One, two, three, four. Notice here's my ring finger all the way to fret number nine. Fret number nine is just before the dotted fret on your ukulele. And now we're going to do the blue. One, two, three, four. And there you can see I didn't have to move my hand. And finger one and three came in for the fret three and five as on the PDF tab in blue in the first bar. Okay, second bar. We're going to go for the red now, which is going to sound and slow motion. You're going to go all the way to fret 9 and you're going to play it twice. Fret 7 twice. Fret 5 once and then onto the 4. So one more time. And for those that don't like playing on one string, you can go to the, to the blue now and you play 5, 5, 3, 3 and you cross string like that. So let's combine the first two bars. First of all, the whole way through on the red. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, red. And now we're going to try it on blue. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And you can see both of benefits. The one allows you to do cool slides and the other one allows you to cross strings. The last bar in red you're going to have seven seven five five four two and you can hear that slide there if you want to include the slide that's optional and if you go blue sorry my mistake and you can slide that as well if you want to so again you can choose okay now we're going to take it the entire way through the complete introduction only in red are we ready one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And if 
you're taking in blue, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. And that's your introduction, the whistling part, which does come in later during the song. Later he's going to play through it twice instead of once. You'll obviously hear it when he whistles, you play and you home dry. Now, as far as the colors, the blue or the red, pick one, test it, whichever feels better. If the blue feels good, do it. If the red feels good, do that instead. Okay. Now onto the chords. You've got some cool new chords. There's B flats, there's G minors, there's D minors, and there's an F, which I'm sure you know. But for those that are new to ukulele and haven't done B flat yet, we're going to start with the B flat chord, which means finger one goes flat, first fret, bottom two strings. You're going to start like this. Finger number two, middle finger, goes to the second fret, third string from the bottom. One, two, three. Then the ring finger goes all the way to the top, and your B flat should sound like this. Now there is a good chance that your ukulele's B flat might not sound the same. Your B flat might sound like this. And the main difference over here, which might be standing out, is that string. The top string sounds different from the one on the previous ukulele. You can hear now much deeper and the important thing over here is what they've done is they've replaced the top string I don't know if you can see on the video but this string is nice and shiny it's actually a metallic wound string where the other ukulele for example now has got a, a thinner top string over here so you can hear the difference you can see it's physically thinner and it's nylon so what they sometimes do is they replace this thin nylon string with the thicker string at the bottom and it sounds just as cool both ways if you want to swap it let me know I'll be happy to help you if you're happy with you you get the way it is keep it like that but know that no matter which string you put on there it's going to sound great both of them okay so B flat you're going to sound like this then you go to D minor finger one fret one string one middle finger finger number two second fret third string third finger goes to second string third fret and your G minor next up D minor you go up a string with your first finger middle finger all the way to the top and ring finger underneath it for D minor and it should sound like this and the last chord F I'm sure by now you know is just basically no ring finger that's your F Let's have a look at the strumming and we can start putting this together. I think from this angle you can see the, that metallic string a lot clearer now from this angle. Where if I bring out the other ukulele just quickly you can see that the string over there is a lot thinner. Just one more comparison. Okay. Let's look at the strumming pattern like we said. We're going to have something that sounds like this. Now the strumming pattern is at the bottom of the PDF. It's strumming pattern 1. And it should sound like this with a B flat in place. There's a B flat. It should sound like this. And if you're using fingers, whichever's good for you, I don't really mind. I'm going to stick with fingers for the rest of the video because this strumming is still all the same. On the count of one, I strum down. On this count of two, there's a red T with an X. You mute it, you tap it. So it's one and two. And it's up. Three, nothing happens. And again, four, another tap with an X. So slow motion, one and two and three and four. And if you're using a pick, one and two and three and four. Also sounds cool. Obviously with the thumb, you get more of a percussive sort of click, where with the palm, if you're holding a pick, you're not going to hear it, but that still sounds pretty sweet. Okay, and there's your rhythm. One more time. One, two, three, four, and... And then you change the G minor onto D minor. And F and all together and you got your song the whole way through now strumming pattern number two you'll notice over there it's very 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 long the rhythm pattern changes now about two-thirds into the song the song goes quiet and you'll hear a guitar do something like this The 
guitar does that you can add it sounds very close to it but it sounds a bit more sort of hawaiian <laughs> okay now the rhythm pattern for that one and two and three and four or if we sort of analyze the strumming down up up down up and on that last up, we're actually not going to keep the chord there because if I strum up now, my next down strum must be D minor, G minor, sorry. And I doesn't really have much time to go from here. I mean, if I say change, that's a really fast change. We want to take it a bit slower. Now, watch what I'm going to do slow motion. You can see and hear I'm strumming nothing. And that open strum buys me time to go to my next chord which is going to be my G minor. So slow motion, you have this. Can you hear the open strum? Obviously to the F, you don't really hear it because that's just removing the first finger. So in short, before every red arrow in strumming pattern two, we release the hand, getting our fingers in position for the following chord. And at speed, you don't really hear it. It's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, and... And it sounds really sweet. Some of you might have heard it, but even if you did, it still sounds cool. There is a theory reason why it sounds cool. I'm not going to go into that now. But in short, to summarize, I ain't worried. You've learned your tune, your... Or you can use the red strings. You can choose. You've done your chords. You've got your two rhythm patterns. And you've got all the tools you need to play I ain't worried really, really well. If you've got any questions, don't hesitate to drop me a WhatsApp. I'll be happy to help. And similarly, if you'd like a copy of the PDF and you haven't got it, just drop me a message via... Uh, my YouTube channel, send me your email address and I'll send it through with pleasure, no cost involved, and otherwise have an awesome week, take care, cheers.